Okay, okay, so uh, I will just start. I think it would be good if um, every host starts by a little presentation. I, I just want to say that you guys are really lucky to have uh, me and also uh, the guy behind Social Network, two French-speaking guys. How lucky are you guys, man? We're blessed. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for hosting. Um, yeah, so I'll kick off um, with Social Network. Um, you know, we've been kind of working on some really cool stuff for the past couple of years. Um, essentially what it's about is changing the way that we use Bitcoin uh, for something much bigger, which is really just redefining the internet and changing the incentive systems that power it. So I've been in this space for about a decade now. Uh, I started early on mining Dogecoin when it came out and then I uh, went into the tech world, started uh, building tech companies on Wall Street for a company called LedgerX, uh, then joined uh, Polymath very early on um, as kind of the founding engineer there, and have been at, at kind of the forefront of a lot of these new Web3 innovations. Um, it was early in Polkadot, uh, it was a Avalanche, uh, one of the first builders on there, and ICP as well. And so now we're really trying to combine everything that exists in crypto and apply it correctly for the first time. I know probably about a dozen protocols who've tried to decentralize social networks. Uh, and, and I think what we're doing is, is fundamentally different. So excited to share a little bit more about that. Well, thanks a lot. Um, I would like just maybe if you explain a bit more what the also social network is so our audience has a better idea. Yeah, so we just finished our testnet. Um, in January, we released a, a white paper explaining this new uh, architecture of how we can connect Bitcoin to Ethereum. Uh, the Layer 2 uh, roll-up built on Arbitrum um, is, is essentially what social network is. And um, so we, we found a way to create a, a Lightning-type channel, uh, similar to, to how Lightning is architected. We use that to essentially bridge it to the Ethereum roll-up network and um, through that we make Bitcoin faster, cheaper and more energy efficient. So we're talking less than one cent per Bitcoin uh, transaction and also you know faster less than we're getting down to like three second finality on the testnet right now um, and also 99% more energy efficient which is one of the biggest blockers for mainstream adoption into crypto and Bitcoin is because, you know, what does it really do for society and is it a positive force for everyone on the planet? So we've kind of solved all three of these with social network and we're aiming to unlock a new incentive model for decentralized social networks that don't kind of control us and try to, you know, change the algorithm and tell us what to say and what not to say, but create a more holistic uh, bottom-up approach to how we're how we're incentivizing public good social networks and, and what we're applying them for in society um so it's fundamentally really different than what has come out in the past in the crypto space but i think that's kind of what we need right now um so we're excited we're the test net we actually are just officially announcing is coming to a close I, uh, and thank you to the ten thousand people who joined and and helped us test out and stake and we're a part of it, and we're going to be switching over to our mainnet launch um, on on Wednesday. We're kicking it off with our free mint. Uh, there's going to be about uh, 300 of these uh, royal regens that we're giving out to early contributors, and then after that, we're opening up uh, to the 10,000 testnet contributors um, with a new kind of play-to-earn type game that connects you with, connects you back to nature. Uh, through Earth Wallet. Um, I don't know how much we can say, but like I remember, I was really bullish on the game that you just mentioned. Should we talk more about it, or do we want to uh, keep it under, under like secrecy still? Ever? No, no, no. We're definitely happy to share it. That's the point of this space is to announce that um, we've essentially built uh, probably one of the first in the space to pull it off, uh, but. Um, it's essentially, it's inspired by Pokemon Go. So what's going to happen is you'll be able to open up uh, a crypto wallet, Earth wallet, and every park in the world in 195 countries will essentially turn into 
uh, touch grass launch pad. So you physically get out of your house, you get to go to the park, and you get to earn crypto. What, what better what better way to, to make money than that? And um, really this goes to our core belief of, I think that is the correct incentive for us to kind of navigate this exponential increase in technology in our lives. And if we look at what the social networks of Web2 have done to humanity, you know, we we can see the data now. Like the moment Facebook and Instagram and these internet companies came out that were powered by VC-backed incentives, the depression and mental health rates have kind of gone in the wrong direction. Uh, and the next generation is kind of suffering now. And if we don't fundamentally rethink how we're going to structure the internet, uh, I don't see that trend changing. So, yeah, that's that's why we're launching Touch Grass, which is going to get everyone in the world uh, out in nature um, and being able to interact interact and connect with others. Um, that's that's how we're going to fair launch this. There's no VCs involved. They're, we're fully bootstrapped, and we're just giving it all away. I do think I, it's really bullish. Like, uh, all the time people are saying, like, you know, touch grass, touch grass, and now with the bull market, Everybody's like, you know, I don't want to touch grass. I don't want to miss an opportunity. But right now, and I saw the de the, the, the demo. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty bullish on it. Like, I really like the way you guys did it. And now the guys will be able to not only touch grass, but also make money out of this. And I think it's a really good opportunity. I think it, it will be really fun for the people. Um, like for me, Pokemon Go, it was one of the games. Like, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, and uh, I love. I love these type of games, and I remember I, I didn't play enough uh, with Pokemon Go, but now, you know, uh, this, this could change. But uh, now that I have uh, some of my boys, like, for example, I have uh, NFT boys, I would like to have uh, also a stake on... Uh, first, I think we should introduce uh, the, the speakers and guests. Now we have Bloodshroot, and we have uh, NFT boys. So if you guys could uh, introduce yourself, explain who are you, uh, and what you guys are doing, it would be really nice for the audience. Hey guys, sure, happy to go first. This is Ben, uh, marketing manager with Blocksroute. We are a DeFi infrastructure provider, uh, powering performance for things like trading, staking, MEV with our blockchain distribution network. So we're partnering with uh, Earth Wallet. We're helping um, basically, you know, an infrastructure provider and partner to help Earth Wallet users get better performance, protect them from uh, front running and also potentially earn MEV opportunities. So obviously, um, re reliability and speed will be sort of crucial to uh, social networks. So we're excited to learn more and, and help you guys power uh, the best experiences. Thanks, guys. Yeah, MEV on Bitcoin, guys. You heard that, right? No, so boy, guys. let's go. Ooh. Don't take anything he um, takes too seriously. <laughs> Look, I was going to say my, my intro is just I'm boy. Uh, I'm not sure what more to add. Um, super interested in all things uh, ordinals, Bitcoin, DeFi, L2s. And uh, I've been talking to the social network team for maybe a month, month and a half. Um, and, and really interested to see how the ordinal free mint go to market works. Um, I think it could become um, something hopefully we see more, uh, more of these uh, L2s do. And uh, interested to kind of learn more about about kind of the arbitrum partnership and and how exactly the tech works. Um, and excited for Mint, so I'm pretty much just here to uh, to show some support, show some love, and uh, yeah, chilling in the background. Look at my boy, just being humble. Uh, I'm boy, like you're one of the only one, uh, of the first ones to call out social network. You're always providing great alpha, making threat and shit. But I, I love you, you humility though. But like, bro, uh, don't hesitate to say, bro, I'm the motherfucking NFT boy, you know. But that's good, bro. Jaren, you gotta keep, uh, you gotta keep our flirting uh, strictly to DMs, man. You're gonna expose us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So now, um, that's now we'll come back more to the subject. So, ever if you could, maybe I know you've already like uh, explained a bit what social network is about. You kind of tease a bit about the game. And you explain a bit, but it, I would like maybe more explanation about like what what you guys did so far. You know, I think it would be really nice to know. 
Yeah, definitely. Um, so Social Network started um, actually a couple of years ago um, when I started a company called Earth Wallet. It was basically, you know, our mission was try to change the incentives of, of crypto in a way. If you remember the last bull run, the top of the market was essentially a massive pushback from mainstream media about, oh, this is DGEN, like, what are these bored apes? Like, this is, like, so DGEN. And also, um, you know, the societal concerns about the energy usage of crypto. And so you saw regulators around the world shutting it down, trying to stop it, you, you know. And, and so those were kind of the, I look at those as the bottlenecks. You know, it, when you're building tech companies or products, you have inherent bottlenecks in adoption and what you want to do is try to remove those bottlenecks so more people can come in so what we're doing at social network and earth wallet was really just solving that problem of how do we make crypto more beneficial for society in a way that it becomes obvious to everyone on the planet why crypto needs to exist and why we need to have it in our lives and not just about buying money and holding it because finance is like what well, it's a small subset of our lives so how does it actually help everyday people who don't care as much about finance so we kind of went back to the drawing board we tried to figure out how do we scale bitcoin and we discovered um with bitcoin ordinals about a year ago earth wallet was one of the first bitcoin ordinals wallets uh, we were innovating right when it came out uh, we got it audited you can use it today but we realized the combination of Bitcoin taproot and Ethereum proof of stake is something that no one had really tapped into. And so we discovered a way to bridge the two. So fundamentally what social network is, is it's a scaling solution for Bitcoin that makes it faster, cheaper, and solves the energy issue of, of Bitcoin. And we want to apply that. Like obviously I've, I've built multiple billion dollar protocols in crypto space before or been a part of them. And I've seen how quickly these things happen, but uh, it, it's important that you create the right structure in order to create that healthy community and, and ecosystem and essentially economy around your new protocol. So that's why social network is kind of going to be the, the beneficiary of the whole thing that we're building. Um, and we want to distribute that to everyone on the planet. So that's kind of why we're doing this touch grass initiative to get everybody in the world who believes in a new incentive system to reconnect humanity to nature. We want them to win. We want them to kind of be the stewards of this new system that we've created and kind of take Bitcoin to the next, next wave of adoption. Ever, I love your mission to know how the planet, but we both know that it is not really a priority for most people in web three. Um, I really wonder how, How hard was it to really uh, build it, especially without VCs, knowing that, you know, like, you no know, most people are here, you know, to make money or to make, to, to, to have other incentives and, you know, helping the planet. And we both know that, like, in Web 2, a lot of people care about this, but in Web 3, not that much. How hard was it to, to, to create what you did and be uh, so environment, environmentally friendly? That's a great question. Um, and I think... To answer that question, you got to really kind of zoom out a bit and realize that crypto is still just a subset of humanity's capital allocation. And if Bitcoin is going to become the monetary currency of the world, it needs to be able to solve the world's problems. Um, and otherwise, it will never, you know, 10x and, and do all that stuff from here. If it does, we're going to have a lot of societal problems. And then number two, if you look at kind of the state of the world in 2009, when Bitcoin was created, it was created for a specific purpose. And that purpose was to create uh, an alternative to the bailouts of central banks. It's, in the, it's written into the first block of Bitcoin. And the entire point was to create an alternative system, a new system that the entire world can allocate their money to in the case that the bailouts didn't work. And I think where we are today in 2024 We need, to ask, we need to ask ourselves, where is the world going to be 15 years from today? And what alternative system do we need today that doesn't exist right now? And that's what Social Network is trying to solve, is essentially there's a, a potential like major bailout that's probably orders of magnitude larger than the central bank bailouts, and that's the environmental bailout, which is happening today. 
there's going to be hundreds of trillions of dollars allocated to this problem. And we do not have a system today that can provide a solution at all. So that's kind of where we're looking. It's more long term. And um, I do think if we're successful here, you know, this, you know, that's, that's kind of how society's financial markets work is they, they allocate capital to where humanity wants to go. And when you provide solutions to that, the money kind of just, it, it appears. I love it. You guys are already planning to be in Web2 and you've already solved the problem you know you will face in Web2. This is true foreshadowing, guys. I love it. Also, I saw we have new uh, new speakers. I'd love if uh, they could introduce themselves. And also, uh, just to know, um, why did you choose to partner up with Social Network to come on, on this space? Uh, it would be really nice. Jan, I see you, bro. Don't be shy. I'm here. Should I, should I go first, man? I... I'm just excited because you guys are hosting the space. You talk about bringing ordinals to every single person on earth. You know, sign me up for that, please. Let's go. Now, uh, Logerius, uh, don't be shy either, bro. We're all here to hear you, man. We want to hear more about you. No, if not, bro, no worries. Uh, just a uh, boy. Uh, I know you already introduced yourself. I just want to know, um, uh, maybe, uh, I mean, you can already explain why you, uh, why you, why you, why you partner up with, uh, with a show network. But, bro, if you have something else to add, uh, I'd love to hear it. Um, yeah, look, I, w I would just add that uh, Jan is is probably the the buffest and sexiest guy in Web three. So I uh, love to see him on stage, and um, and yeah, man. Look, I'm just excited to uh, to mint uh, social network and to kind of see what happens around uh, go to market activations for um, you know the things that happen next. And yeah, I'm close friends with kind of the agency that they're uh, working with. Um, so that's kind of the context here. Heard some really good things. Um, spoken to to Everhusk in, in DMs a bit, uh, but yeah, look, l looking to learn more, kind of like all of you guys, and just uh, eating an acai bowl over here. All right, thanks, bro. Um, also, like, uh, it's a good reminder to just talk about a bit about the mint. I don't think we've really said much about the mint. Ever would you mind uh, sharing more details about like the upcoming mints, uh, m maybe the different phases and everything? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, essentially, the way it's going to work is we have a, a Genesis pre-mint happening on Magic Eden on Wednesday, uh, the 27th, I believe, at 4 p.m. UTC is when the the uh, the whitelist starts. And uh, that's going to be a very limited collection called the Royal Regens. And so the Royals are a little bit different than the general collection, which is going to drop on the Touch Grass game. You will be able to find Royals in the game, but they'll essentially be like the Charizards. They'll be impossible to find. Um, you may find one in a country if you're lucky, um, but uh, they're essentially uh, they're going to be minted on Bitcoin ordinals, and they'll be given to select people who who are kind of like showed up early in the ecosystem and also are, are kind of like going to help champion this movement, uh, decentralized movement that we're trying to create. And... Um, After that mint closes, uh, we're going to also be inviting the 10,000 plus people who've joined our test net to join our test flight for the, the new Earth Wallet game. Uh, so essentially every Earth Wallet, when you open it, uh, there's going to be a, a button that you can tap into and then it turns into an AR game where it will route you to the closest park. Once you get to the park, uh, you tap a button that says touch grass. And then your camera mode flips on. You can you can then try to catch one of these regions running around. Uh, and once you do, it'll it'll tell you which one you caught, and if you got an airdrop from it. And um, yeah, that's kind of that's going to happen all throughout potentially the year. And um, we'll be also dropping like new new art and um, other collections on top of these uh, throughout the year essentially at the park locations. All right, because 
when it earned you uh, in the space, you were like talking about, you know, uh, the Pokemon Go system that the game will have. And now you just mentioned that, like, if you're like some play, like in some places in the world, you will hide, you know, um, NFTs or, you know, stuff like that. Could you talk more about this? Because I think it's really interesting. It could be really, really fun. Because all, as we know, like, we got people from all around the world right now. So maybe uh, some lucky pe uh, person in the space even now will be really close to one of the locations, you know? So I I'd yeah. love to hear more, more about this. Yeah, so they're, they'll be kind of hidden around the world. Uh, so the more you play, the more likely you are to find one. Um, but every day you can go and, and collect uh, Earth points, which, you know, are kind of the the reward system for the early community. And um, as you collect those points, uh, you'll be able to do more things in the ecosystem and help grow the social network. Um, I can't say too much around those that incentive system right now, but um, essentially, yeah, the, the regions will be available at your closest park. They, they might not be at the first one you go to, but they might be at the second one, so you kind of got to go explore around. Um, and once you get one, you can also go to social.network slash regions, and each one has an embedded... LLM built into them. So you can actually add in um, some sort of knowledge base. We've, we've trained some of them on different aspects of um, society. So the red ones have health and wellness. Yellow are, are more about uh, business and startup ideas. Uh, green have, um, I think, agricultural knowledge. Blue, uh, blue you can ask anything. Um, I think the space black ones are... Uh, science like physics and energy and th that's kind of like each one will have a different category and it will be developed over time as you catch them you can train them and um, embed different systems into them and together they can actually do tasks and and work on the social network they can build uh, code they can write stuff for us um, they can create media and it essentially becomes the decentralized organization that will help us build social network in the future um, and solve bigger problems. As these AI systems get more advanced, we'll be able to help kind of coordinate them to, to solve the problems that we actually want to solve as humans rather than us being, you know, kind of fed to the machines. We can have them do stuff for us. Okay, okay, very interesting. And uh, I had a question. Now you mentioned a lot about what you're planning. Like, in all of this will start, as you said, this Wednesday. And, uh, but can we know more about your future plans? Because right now you said you have a lot planned. You have a lot in the works. Uh, but is there some other alpha you could provide to us in this, uh, in this space, bro? Um, I mean, I just shared two big ones. We got the first Pokemon Go game that kind of has NFTs. So... Um, essentially, what that becomes is almost it turns the earth into a canvas. And that's kind of where we want to we see the future of the social network. It's not about sitting at home in your, in your basement and staring at your screen. I think we can, we can put those days behind us and we can move forward into this new world of social network, which is getting out in nature and turning the planet into your canvas. You know, you can embed art into your local park, you know, you know, people can go out and check out what people are screwing in the area. And you we can, should do that with my yeah, so, yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and, and that's going to be exciting to see grow, especially from the ground up. I don't think I don't think anyone's fair launched something like this before. But um, we've put a lot of time and energy into doing this the right way. And um, we're excited. Now, uh, we seem to have a uh, threefold. Do you have something, several? Hello, hello. Hello, all. Uh, well, we're super excited to see this happening. It is Florian. Uh, I'm here with Krista from Threefold, a uh, very old friend with, uh, with Souk. Super happy to see this happening and ready to run in the box, looking for our red gens. And um, we've been working with deep in and decentralizing the internet and uh, all the hosting capabilities behind all, all this, so we can work together in uh, making all this available, but in a way that it's as local as possible and hosted by the community itself. So 
we're very excited to see this happening and, and to partner with social network to make all this uh, infrastructure decentralized for the people, by the people. And uh, we really believe that this internet, uh, that is the new social network, can only exist if we own our digital life. And uh, we've been working very closely with uh, the social network to make this happen. So it's a, a really integrated story with DPN and, and it's going to be beautiful. No, it's true. Like, like if you think about it, guys, like social network has no dip in. They have even AI and something else I wanted to ask. But, you know, I don't want to, you know, cross, cross any lines here. But uh, could you say uh, some stuff about AR maybe? Because your game, when I think about, uh, about Pokemon Go, the only thing I could really see it being better is through like a a AR, you know, uh, Using like uh, because those kind of machine Apple Vision Pro, Pro and everything, I just see myself and it looks like a dream, you know, just walking around, being in Web three while being outside. Uh, could you tell us more about this, or maybe you know, uh, am I crossing some lines here? No, one hundred percent. I think um, you know what you asked earlier is like where does this go and what the future looks like. What we've built is essentially the foundation that 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 anyone can kind of build on top of and the AR, the AR kit and fundamentals are already built into the wallet so the the core of what we're launching with the regens is really a new canvas we're turning the earth into a canvas and anyone can create uh, any location and we're essentially just creating the embedding where it can be stored on bitcoin and decentralized internet services um because that's really the core. If we get that right and we do it correctly, then, you know, five to 10 years from now, maybe we don't have these like problems that we have with centralized social media because we built the next phase of social, which I do also believe is going to be AR and in the real world. Um, but it's important that we get the core of it correct so that we don't end up with that, you know, VC backed machine that exploits humanity again. Your vision seems pretty clear, you know, in the future, you you want it to be like, first, you seem kind of tired that everybody's always at home uh, on their computer, you know, getting a little bit, I say, like, maybe physically weaker, uh, I think, to all of us, and now it's just the beginning, like, people uh, in the space uh, think this is the bull run, they think, like, oh my god, I've never seen anything like this, but they have no clue what's about to happen, you know, in the whole um, crypto space. Uh, in one year from now, if people think like now they don't have the opportunity to touch grass, in one year it will be much, much, much worse. But now you don't seem to be to, have, to be aligned with this vision. You want people to go outside, and but at the same time you don't want them to like lose kind of this opportunity. Is that why you decided to build this this company? That you want to make your vision a reality? Yeah, I want I want everyone to become millionaires in the park this bull run. I mean, that, that is a goal, like, uh, I think it's, 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 to be honest, it's sometimes it's really, really hard to find opportunities to be outside, like, you know, this morning I was inside, now, on this space, I decided to be outside, because, you know, like, I, like, when we're in a space, you're just gonna, something like, I'm the kind of guy who walks while, while I'm, I'm on spaces, always, I prefer to just, I'm genuinely just beside a park right here, so, uh, maybe, like, in one week from now, there'll be, uh, a red, a red soul over here, and uh, that, that could be pretty, pretty nice. I could have it on something. Um, but to be honest, your vision uh, sounds really nice. Are you maybe like a big uh, sport guy? Do you think uh, people in this space should be more uh, physically shaped like Jan right here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, in all, seri in all seriousness, though, it, it, it really is just about, you know, connecting people back to something bigger than you know these this online digital artificial world that we're creating it, it we need to create like a fundamental shift in in what we're applying this technology to because we're about to have uh, essentially godlike powers with ai and all this new technology who knows where it's going to go i don't think anyone really knows right now but the best thing we can do is try to connect it to something that is a little bit bigger than ourselves and a little bit, you know, more regenerative for the next generation. And so that's kind of the best we can do. And that's what we're trying to do with social network. Um, and I think this is the first step, you know, 
walk to the park. Very good. All right, now um, I was thinking maybe we could. Uh, I want to let the audience ask a couple of questions, guys. Don't hesitate to uh, request to speak. Yeah, we have a, a lot of listeners, and I'm sure uh, many of them has have many questions. So now I'm going to start to accept some uh, some requests because although I'm I'm pretty certain I have a good question, I'm sure you have better ones, guys. So uh, also we have right here a lot of notes that. Uh, uh, maybe, could maybe introduce himself or herself and uh, talk. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Hi, I'm yeah, Jenny. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Um, really exciting to hear um, social network um, plans and launch nodes. Uh, we work in something called impact staking, where we try and give Ethereum staking returns to fund long-term social impact. Um, and we've been working with UNICEF and Give Directly and others um, to do that. And so what I get really excited about in the you know context of social network is that for the first time, we now are looking at the idea that as a user of a social network, I'm getting paid to contribute my post my engagement is monetized not simply by a, you know, a social media provider, but, but I get a slice of it. And I think as an endpoint, that's a really exciting way to incentivize users off of social media platforms that have spent hundreds of millions of dollars, billions in fact, creating user interfaces that are so compelling and so all consuming. And so now the incentive to actually be somewhere else is very personal and, and very personalized. And I think that's a very compelling end state for, for social network that we're excited about seeing. Really said, well said, bro. Also, uh, Evan, I saw you got, you bro, uh, you came on the stage, man. If uh, you don't have uh, anything relevant to say, then uh, everybody else, I want to hear their opinions. I think they're really relevant, but I'm going to be more than you have. And if you don't have a good question, something good to say, I will pick you on the stage, man. Yeah, thank you. Welcome, guys. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, you know, I was supposed to be here early, but I'm at the airport. I got a little bit delayed. So I was asked to join, and here I am, and happy to add any value I can. But pleasure to be here. I'm very excited about what you guys are building. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah, BD. GM, everyone. Uh, I'm currently on my bike, so I kind of miss um, um, some part of the details about the means and plans for the testnet users. So I would like um, if we can go um, come again on that. Yeah, sure. I can give a quick recap. So essentially, uh, this week we're we're gonna be kind of ending our test net. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, um, and we're gonna be moving into the Genesis free mit. So it's gonna be a hundred to about three hundred of these uh, over as the game starts playing. But um, uh, these will be minted on Bitcoin on block nine, the fr the ninth block ever mined on Bitcoin. Uh, it was mined by Satoshi Nakamoto himself. And we're actually going to be inscribing the royal regens, which are kind of, you can think of them like the Charizards of the ecosystem. They're going to be very rare to find in our in our game. Um, and uh, those will be given out to people who champion this mission of decentralizing social networks and using Bitcoin f as a force for, you know, systemic change in the world in a positive direction. We're making Bitcoin energy efficient by 99%. Uh, we're making it cheaper, so less than like one Satoshi per byte per transaction, and we're making it faster. We're, get, we're seeing like two to three second finality on our L2 transactions. And we want to use social network essentially as a platform for anyone to create media, anyone to see the power of decentralized blockchains um, directly on Bitcoin. And um, yeah, so as soon as we launch the mainnet, we're going to also open up uh, the Earth Wallet uh, app for anyone to go to physically go to a park 
uh, each park in the world in 195 countries becomes essentially a, a launch pad for you to claim your earth points and also to find and discover art that's created on our L2. So it essentially turns our planet into a canvas, uh, a real world canvas where you don't have to be glued to your screen staring at a, a Doom feed on Twitter or, or Instagram all day. You can actually go to a park and see what people are creating. Great recap, brother. Thanks a lot for this. Also, I see we have a uh, hand raised. Andrew, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Uh, Andrew Scott Easton here. I had a chance to meet with Everhusk out at uh, Bitcoin Atlantis. And I'm working on a uh, deep pin marketplace for Bitcoin ASICs. So helping build out more decentralization and transparency and ownership of Bitcoin mining companies. So I'm really excited for social network. Uh, total new came into the space and, and don't understand any of the Bitcoin tools. But Everhusk was able to explain it to me very clearly. Super excited with this social network. And the minting, I got a little sneak peek of it. And as a 80s child, I'm, I'm so excited. So uh, Everhusk, one question. How can a newbie like me get more involved? How can we help you spread the word? And then how can, uh, how can we mint? And how, how do we get into this if we're not so technically capable? What, what's needed from us? Yeah, good to see you here, man. And um, thanks for... Uh, thanks for that. Um, basically, the easiest way to get involved is to go to social.network and get some testnet Bitcoin. Uh, we do airdrops to anyone who downloads Earth Wallet. Uh, it's available on iOS or Android. Uh, just switch to the Bitcoin testnet tab, turn on push notifications, and you'll get an airdrop of testnet Bitcoin every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with that, you then just go to social.network. You can stake it and you'll get uh, you'll, you'll get to see that this works. This is real tech. You know, um, you can wrap, put your Bitcoin on social network. It will turn into Earth Bitcoin EBTC as the actual gas token on the L2. And you can use that in any way that you would use an EVM. You can build apps on it. Uh, you can, you know, create a meme coin. You can mint an NFT. We're encouraging today. Actually, we're we just announced our, our builders program. You can check out our docs, docs.social.network. Um, and there's a, a, a link there for the builders program. We're, we're going to be giving away early grants and points to people who are deploying applications specifically on it. If you're not a builder, we also have a program for artists and creatives to get ready to create art and mint it on planet Earth like almost literally um not exactly literally but through the ar lens that we have in earth wallet we'll actually have the ability for people to mint their art um and select which areas which parks which physical venues they want to have it show up at so when people walk around and they're playing this regen game uh they can also see what other types of art are available um so that's a program that's unique to social network we really want to invite artists and creatives to join us and um, we can, you know, there's earth points available. There's also regions that you can catch just by downloading EarthWallet and going to your park. And um, yeah, lots, lots of ways. Hop in the Discord. Um, we're going to be growing it quite a bit. It's already kind of popping off now, but it's good to see it grow. Very good. Also, Debs, uh, I saw you. I see you uh, waving your hand. Do you have something? What's up, man? Jim, Jim, can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, GM, everyone. I'm Debs. Um, I'm an ambassador for Super Super Network, and I'm also like an early contributor for um, Social Network. I'm one of the OGs. I was there from Telegram to move to Discord and like. To see um, it, social network evolve and like being where we are now, like it, it has been an amazing journey. Like I want to appreciate Everhogs for like giving us the opportunity. Like the testnet was really seamless. He provided test uh, testnet BTC for us to like participate. Um, he provided clarity in, in when we were like kind of confused, and it just goes to show how how the launch will be the mainnet and how like the whole experience is going to be like. It's going to literally change the world and change like the future of BTC. And like, I'm glad to be part of the journey. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's really it's really bottom up, guys. So hop in. You can be a part of the ground floor of this. Um, there's there's you know literally no VCs in this. There's no KOL deals. There's this is all going to be a fair launch. So um, opportunities like that, I can tell you, I've been in crypto for a decade. Um, most people sell out. Most people will have large amounts allocated to to other people, and um, we're we're going to do this a different way. So. You know, it's probably a good idea to to get involved early. Very well said, brother. Uh, I think uh, it might be time to to close the space. Except if anybody has any last words, uh, I think we pretty much uh, made the the, the round. Uh, does Does anybody have any last words? Five, four, three. No, okay, okay. I think we're good. So, uh, are you uh, ever? Do you think uh, it's good if, if we close uh, the space now? Yeah, I think I think we're yep. good. Stay tuned. Uh, make sure you follow us and uh, put notifications on. Uh, we're going to announce the the details for the the public access to uh, Earth Wallet and the the Touch Grass game fairly soon. So. Yeah, make sure you sign up, you register on social network, and, and you'll be able to play it before anybody else. Yep. I want you guys to follow everybody uh, on the stage, especially ever in social networks. Thanks a lot, guys, to have made this place today. It was a pleasure for me to, uh, to host it today. It was, uh, it was really nice. I had the opportunity to see some of, some of my friends, too. So thanks a lot. Uh, now I think... Uh, Let's go. I want everybody to start hurting. I uh, give some heart and space while uh, I'm closing it. Just show uh, and uh, some some love to the guys right here, like ever. So let's do it.